Simo Hauha, aka the White Death. <laughs> You serious? Stop making fun on how I pronounce things. There's a guy right there. Ninety hit. Miss. Finally a kill. Let's keep it going. Get out of here. No banner charging me, bro. There we go, another one. 72 hit there we go the white death loadout works guys let's keep it going but before we continue i want to tell you guys about raid shadow legends the sponsor of today's video raid shadow legends is a newly free collection rpg mobile game you probably already heard of it's growing like crazy with over 10 million downloads worldwide and a near perfect review score on ios and android and I'm honestly not surprised, I've been playing it for a little while now and it's a lot of fun. You have over 400 champions to collect which you can also customize to your liking. I personally like the Crusader because he's badass. No, but for real, just take a look at the graphics, it's a freaking mobile game. And the cool thing about this game is that there is something for everybody. You know you have PvP battles, PvE of course with the campaign and crazy boss fights. And now by using the special links down below you can get this game, again for absolutely free, plus a 50,000 silver bonus and a free champion to get you going as part of the new player program where you also get a daily reward for the first 90 days. So be sure to check it out with the link down below. Big thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Finally a battlefield game where we can actually replicate the white death loader because we finally have an iron sided Mosin a gun. Granted it's in World War 1 but still. It's so refreshing to finally play on this map again, Volga River. Pretty underrated map, at least for sniping. It's a lot of fun to snipe on this map. There we go. 100 damage, so this is the sweet spot. Again, sweet spot kill. Just out of the sweet spot. Sis counts as kill. Reload quickly. Let's get a little bit closer. Ooh, a lot of people over there. One hit and two hits. Come on, keep it going. Time to get a better position. There we go. Is that a guy? It is, but not anymore. So let's get back to this spot. No, no reviving. No reviving, there we go. 100 damage, this sweet spot. I'm gonna stay right here. There's a guy right there. I didn't even know you could get up there. Two back-to-back -back 90 hits. No kill. 87, literally just outside of the sweet spot. 52. Not a hit. This time I steal the kills. 75. Nice kill. Okay, it looks like we are about to lose. So let's quickly get some more kills and then go on to the next game. Maybe we can get a bayonet charge. Nope, just too short. Anyway, next game. On to Battlefield 4. I bet you thought we were gonna play Battlefield 5 next, but no, we're gonna play Battlefield 5 at the end because... I mean... Yeah. Anyway, we're playing Battlefield 4 with the White Death loadout. And to switch things up, we are playing on a hardcore server. I haven't done this in a long, long time. And hopefully we get some nice one-shot kills. Just get right there. Yeah. How can we miss the first shot? Nevertheless, we got him. And we got him as well. They don't know where I'm coming from because the, the, it doesn't show the kill cam. That's what I like about hardcore. There's another guy. There we go. There's another guy right there. I love these one-shot kills, man. It's so awesome. Even though we have we don't have the motion Nagant, the we do have one-shot capabilities with the SRR61. What is it? The there we go. I was gonna say, what is the bullet lead with iron sights? It's hard to, you know, indicate. I think we need to move up a little bit. In midair, that was a nice kill. <sighs> Just in the nick of time. And we don't regenerate health as well, so we need to find an ammo box. I mean, a health box to get our health back.
Battlefield 4 is hard without spawning. Are we actually gonna lose this? I think we are. That's one kill. That's another guy, another kill. Oh, these one shot kills are so satisfying. There's a guy all the way there, but there's no way we can hit him. I tried to kill the last guy, but we just lost this game. I don't really care, I'm just here for the sniper kills. Next game, Battlefield Hardline. And we got the M1903 actually. Now we are gonna do the White Death loadout in this game. And I don't feel like this is the best game to do this, but we're gonna do it anyways. Almost, bro. One hit and two hits. There we go. Our first clean kill in Battlefield Hardline. There we go. Can I shoot like... Yes, I can. Hello. He just sits there with a ballistic shield waiting for somebody to come up and bash them in the head. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so I decided to do a different server because that other one, I don't know, that, that wasn't a good map in my opinion. We're still with the white death loadout. Meaning, sniper rifle with iron sights only. Okay, so there are people down there, so let's just dive to them. I want to get on top of this roof. Just like this. Got one guy. Got another guy. There's a sniper here somewhere, right there. Right there. And he got a mammoth gun in my face. That's a hatchet, I think. That's a headshot as well, I think. I got hit in the arm. And I got killed instantly. There we go. Can we get him? Yes, we can. I think it's a... I was gonna say, I think it's a one-shot sniper server. And I don't really mind that, considering the loadout. We got one guy. That's a nice little headshot right there. I'm so bad at this game. At least we got him. I'm just gonna move over to some easier targets, I guess. We lost. Battlefield 5, White Death Loadout. It took me literally 50 minutes to find a suitable Norvik server, either on Conquest or Breakthrough or Grand Operations, because for some reason every little thing in this game is broken. I'm, and I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but even the smallest things are not functioning. They keep putting me in a different server. But anyway, now we are on Conquest. This game is already halfway through, but we're gonna do it anyways. I have a feeling it's gonna be difficult to get long range kills because. There we go, finally. It's very hard to distinguish people, especially on this map, especially in long range, especially in Battlefield 5, and especially with only iron sights. There's a guy right there. I think there was a prone MMG or somebody that I don't really respect that. Another guy over there. Okay, finally, we're making some progress. We got a couple of kills. Took long enough. I'm not really used to sniping with iron sights. Oh, hi! In Battlefield 5, to be honest. Haven't really done that. We do have a nice flank going on, so let's see if we can make something work here. There we go. There's another one over there. There's a tank over there. Yeah, the tank is gonna be a problem, and he's dead. Uh, should we go for the revive? Yeah, why not? And that's what you get. That's what you get for trying to help your teammates. Luckily, we placed a spawn beacon. Get out of here, bro. There's another guy? Where are these guys coming from? I need to place a spawn beacon like all the way over here. And now we can really, really flank people. That's one hit. That's apparently not two hit. Really thought I would get that guy, but he's still alive. So let's finish him off. I'm stuck on terrain. I'm stuck on terrain? This game is just... Oh, man. Look at this guy. 
get out of here. Nice Battlefield 1, no E animation. Yeah, I saw you, don't worry about it. Is that guy still here? Huh? Yes, he is. Finally! A long range kill, long ish range kill. I'm just gonna keep holding down this position. I mean, why not? I'm telling you, I can't stand this game sometimes. Scratch that, not sometimes, like pretty much all the time. Look at that, we're gonna lose by one ticket. By one ticket. What an amazing game. Anyway guys, I'm done. Just, what a way to end the game. <laughs> what, an, what a way to end the video with Battlefield 5. Anyway, subscribe if you like the video. Likes. Bye.